it's me again. So, anyways, um, it's now Labor Day weekend, and in a way, it just feels weird that it's not a Labor Day weekend. It just seemed like, you know, six months ago was you know, February, and it was like, my brother's birthday, and then, of course, um, leap year, of that sort, and then it was March, and now here it is, so, considering all of that, um, I usually view this time of year as like a, a new year of that sort because of like the school year and then the, the new TV seasons and all that. You know what I mean? So, considering all of that, you know, it just feels weird how certain things were, you know, as far as that goes, like, five years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, twenty-five years ago, um, thirty years ago, or thirty-five years ago, and that's like the third, first I can go back at that point, you know, so, Considering all that, you know, I think it was, you know, 35 years ago, that was like start of third grade, and I already had talked about this sort of thing, and I don't really want to have to like go around and explain multiple times at that point, but, but still, that was like, a different experience of that sort, but um, I think that was probably was the last time we had one of those uh, cross country trips during the summer because I think we did have a cross country trip in um, I think it was like 88, 89, and maybe like 87. I'm not exactly certain, maybe 86. And at that time, um, they got this, uh, Chevy van back then. And so we had all these different adventures there. And, and at one point, uh, we had stopped all the different places like, like, St. Louis and Tucson and Chicago and all other places at that point. Yeah. So that was like the thing there. So as far as that goes, I mean during that summer of eighty nine, that was when we had like Honey I Shrunk the Kids was was the the latest movie for kids of that sort and um if i remember correctly um that was also the year that i met uh rachel you know one of my old my old friends that i grew up with you know, during that summer, and then, uh, as well as Melissa, you know, and then, of course, there was Lisa that I met later on in third grade, and, um, I haven't really spoken to her in a little bit more than 20 years, you know, ever since I had gone and left at all transition to go live in uh, Dallas at that one point in time. So that was another story here. 
So, five years later, you know, it was, um, I think it was like Rachel's last year that she was living here in California before she moved to Colorado, if I recall correctly, you know, as far as like eighth grade, you know, so then I was like seeing that one therapist, I think it was like Allie, I think around eighth grade, and at that time I think it was Grandpa was dying there, you know, because he had, he smoked, he had, he had lung cancer, but he also had, like, had a stroke earlier that year, right after he had, uh, tripped and fell and broke his hip, because it was some sort of little separation divider that they had in the in in the road like that uh, grandpa didn't see and tripped and over and so what happened was like I think it was at the at the end of the year it was then grandpa passed away and then because he was my my mom's dad you know and then, um, about a couple months later, then my dad's mom had passed away. Yeah. So, that was the thing there. But at that time, um, then that was when I met my old best friend, Todd. You know, in that part of 8th grade. And then there was that whole arc of where, uh, my neighbor's name's Jason, and had, we had like a falling out for whatever reason it was because he didn't like Todd or something, and and then it was like it lasted for an entire year, and we didn't speak after that. Yeah, so that was one of the things. So, anyways, um. I'm trying to remember, let's see, um, 25 years ago, that was like the start of adult transition for me, and I, I didn't really like the whole thing there because it felt like, you know, I'm going to be on a short leash at that point and that was really the whole problem of why why I only stayed there for about two years because I because I felt like that was just the most I can handle at that point and and mainly it was the the first year they were understaffed and and all this other stuff and they were trying to like you know taught me out of taking all these certain more challenging courses or whatnot and and want me to focus more on the the easier things, the more menial jobs and that sort. And I can do the menial jobs but I want to get paid to do it. It's not some sort of sense of entitlement on my part. It's just it's expected. You know. Okay. You know, I just can't go work for free. You know, even though I had worked at the cafeteria at the high, at my old high school, but I got something in return. It was a free lunch, and so that was the thing. And I got all burnt out after that. And I think looking back at all of that, as I said before, I should have just gone with mom. And taking the computer, taking Tom with me. Tom was my old cat. So, so that was one of the things there. 
and gone the path of her. And so I don't know if we would have still gotten that apartment over there in Irving or where we probably have been got, got a different apartment or something like that. I don't know. So as far as that goes, like uh, 20 years ago was like the second year that I lived in uh, Irving Full Pine of that sort and mainly I think due to how the whole political climate was you know with Bush's uh, marriage crusade of that sort just to appease you know the evangelical Christian uh, dunderheads of that sort you know just to get their vote you know because all those kind of Christian people will know that that's never going to happen. Yeah. So, that was just one of the things there. And let's see. Um, I think at the, at the end of the year, Dad had gotten diagnosed with lung cancer and I was getting homesick and all that. And so, I felt like I needed to get back home. And, 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 you know, screw Eloy and Josh, for that matter, and those friends, you know. So that was, like, what happened back in 05, you know, the whole thing with Eloy and all that, you know. Because I needed to go back home. So, that was the thing there. And then all this other stuff. And then let's see... Five years later, because that was the whole story with Ricky, you know that, and the breakup with Ricky, and then Ricky returning again, and then he leaves again. So that was back in like '09, and then then it was like the whole thing with Drew back in 2010 and 2011. And then Ricky came back. In 2013, ended up breaking up with Ricky for the final time in 2014, and then, and then um, dated Raul Rule for a while. Then Raul ghosted me in 2015, and then all this other stuff. And then 2016, trying to get with Brandon, then then Dave, then. Then dad dies, and you know, the whole thing of me going on from just about a year since dad died about five years ago. And then, then there was COVID, all this. And so here we are. Yeah. So, anyways, I guess that's probably it. So, talk to you guys later.